Welcome to RT10 News. I'm Tara Lockery Grant, and here's your weekly entertainment news update. The kids are back at school, so that must mean Ryan Tuberty is back with the Late Late Show this Friday night. And to celebrate, he'll be giving away the prize of a lifetime. One lucky viewer will be whisked away to Las Vegas with a few quid to spend, and good old Ryan sampled the prize for himself earlier this summer. We went to Las Viva Las Vegas for to, to for research uh, to to make a. Um, a promo uh, for the show because we're going to be giving away a massive trip to Las Vegas in the first show. Uh, so they had to, I had to go over just to see and show people at home what Vegas looked like. So that was very tough. We had to go into the Grand Canyon in a helicopter. I had to go and see the uh, Viva Elvis and the Beatles love shows and had to ride on uh, horses with cowboys and go and see the Buffalo Roam. And that was tough. But somebody at home is going to win that trip and it's going to be magnificent with loads and loads and loads of dollars in their pockets. So that should be fun. And he also told Ten's Janice Butler that there are a lot more surprises in store for the audience this season. So be sure to tune in this Friday. If you're not watching The Late Late this weekend, you may well be in Strad Valley for this year's Electric Picnic. Ten was on location for a preview where we spoke to the festival's Lindsay Holmes about this year's event. Well, as you can see from looking around here, it's all getting very close to being finished up and um, with a few new things happening this year. Um, as you saw, we've got the Earthship stage, which is a wonderful stage made out of recycled materials. If you look along the bottom of the stage, you'll see all the little old TV screens and things that are recycled. It's wonderful. Monday's just performed there. We've also got this new area called the Theatre of Food, which is from for everything gastronomic. There's cookery demonstrations. You've got people like top chefs like Derry Clark, Paul from the Tannery, and loads of, loads of the well-known chefs demonstrating. We've got speed dating over food. We've got a rock and roll cook-off. So it's great fun. We've even got a pop-up food kitchen. So it's going to be great fun, that. OK, and what about the music, Lindsay? I think Arcade Fire is probably one of the highlights for most people. They played here a few years ago and they stole the show. We've got Pulp back. Everybody's very excited about them because they haven't played here for a number of years. We've got the Chemical Brothers. Um, Underworld. Underworld. Uh, Jimmy Cliff. We've got OMD, Orchestral News in the Dark, which a lot of people will remember. Um, there's also, of course, you can't forget the uh, spoken word area. And we've got probably one of Ireland's best known talkers Bob Geldof and Bob is going to be speaking at Minefield and uh, we've also got BP Fallon, David McWilliams, we've got your own Sean O'Rourke uh, uh, hosting a debate. Um, loads and loads of things there as well. It sounds great and for the first time ever this year you can buy Sunday only day tickets. Let's hope the rain stays away. The stars of RTE Radio are gearing up for the new autumn season, with Miriam O'Callaghan, Derek Mooney and Oliver Callan on hand this week to announce what's in store. Knob Nation's Callan is bringing satire back to Saturdays with a full series of green tea. After filling in for Marion Finucane earlier this year, Charlie Bird returns to Radio 1 with his new show, Saturday with Charlie Bird. And you never need to miss your favourite radio programme again, with the news that the RTE radio player is on its way later this year. We've had a sneak peek and it looks great, so good news for radio fans. Melancholia is a new psychological thriller starring Kirsten Dunst and Alexander Skarsgård as newlyweds. However, euphoria soon turns to fear when they and their guests learn that a planet is spiralling towards Earth. It's a planet that has been hiding behind the sun. Now it passes by. We'll be here in five days and it is not going to hit us. And this is going to be the most amazing experience we will have in our lives. Melancholia is set for release on the 30th of September. Beyonce surprised audience members at the MTV Video Music Awards this week when she announced that she was pregnant with her and husband Jay-Z's first child. Dressed in a loose-fitting flowing gown, she posed for the cameras before surprising everyone by cradling her stomach saying, I have a surprise. Later on, she transformed into a sequenced jacket and black trousers number to perform her song Love on Top and she told the crowd, I want you to stand up on your feet, I want you to feel the love that's growing inside me as she rubbed her stomach. All going well for her, I think we're going to be hearing a lot more about her baby bump over the coming months. Well, that's all the latest happenings from the world of entertainment. For your daily showbiz fix, keep clicking here on RT10. And of course, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.